they called me at about 11 to 15. And they told me what was happening. I just came straight down. I've been here yeah. since just after 12. So you don't know, they didn't say. You have to have that. So they just gave you that. Zero information. The TV sitting. That's because that's what people usually do when they're breaking into other people's properties. Yeah. Yeah. That's absurd. Is there just like a lot of people There's a guy inside taking off and putting on a balaclava in the back right Yeah, dude, I just saw that. That's kind of terroristic, if anything else. I mean, this guy looks like a cop. I'll be straight up with you. Yeah. That guy looks like a fucking cop. Basically, white question in my mind. Hey Garrett, mm -hmm. do you have the number for Porcupine 411? Yeah, of course. Uh, 413-0411. In 603? 603-411. You almost gotta like position yourself in front of the light so as to kill the glare for your shot. Oh, to the back door? Yeah. Maybe it's time to move back. Well, one person should stay here. Rich has a radio. Can I ask you, are you guys just trying to document what's going on? Sure. I'm one of the Robin Hooders here. I'll go out and carry a camera and try and document anything that's interesting. And today this happens to be the most interesting thing. And um, yeah, I heard about it on, on Facebook before I headed out today. There was a DEA raid of fat stuff. And I've come down here, I've been documenting the whole time. At first there was just this row of newspapers on the left here, but as we were filming more into the door, agents came by and started covering up the doors and they put this tarp up, they put newspapers up over there because they don't want us to see what we're doing. But what that's actually done is enabled us to put our lens right where the slits in the, in the concealment are, and so they don't see that we're filming and they're still able to see everything that's going on in there. Um, so I ran home earlier and started my stuff uploading to my YouTube channel, so all the raw video that I get, I'm going to upload. It sounds like you're going around the back door. Oh, excuse me. I would appreciate it if law enforcement in the United States didn't work in secret in concealing the windows and serving search warrants that are sealed. That's almost like secret police. I mean, we don't know why things are being taken from a local business here in Keene, but allegedly the federal government's involved. I mean, I don't feel comfortable knowing that the federal government is raiding local well, businesses. Here, I mean, it's a small business trying to make a living here. Hey, I heard you guys have been ruining a bunch of people's lives today. I heard you guys raided a bunch of shops all across the, uh, the United States, the DEA folks. Is that true? 
How does that make you feel? It really works. Take, take you guys away from people's livelihood from them. Hmm. Of course, that's what you guys do best, right? You guys are parasites. That's all you do. You don't actually add anything to the economy. You don't add anything to the world. You just destroy. You destroy people's lives, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Bunch of bullies. The second paragraph of the Declaration bullies of Independence reads, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that amongst these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now the reality is when somebody smokes weed, all they're doing is, is pursuing happiness. So why would you violate the very basic foundation of our country's values, which is that people should be free to pursue happiness in their own way? Does, do you really see a constitutional purpose to what you're doing here today? I can't imagine you took the job to be busting people for tobacco pipes. I mean, when you took the job, it was probably to protect people, but no one's being protected today, no one's being served today. There are real criminals out there that actually hurt people, while the DEA focuses solely on victimless criminal activity. How could it be called a crime if there's no victim? A crime is when one person hurts another or defrauds another. But right now, you're not investigating crime, you're just investigating people trying to use whatever con uh, consumable they want to use. And it's hey, ironic it's that... Man. You're a really courageous guy. <laughs> why, are you wearing, why are some of you wearing masks? I mean, that's totally ridiculous. This is Keene, New Hampshire. Why would anyone be being trying to hide who they are? Is it Halloween? Is it a celebration? It doesn't seem like it. It seems like people are ashamed of what they're doing and don't want others to see what they're doing. Well, that's more fun than the barrel of money. But then again, for one month, you'll lift your arm up and beat you to death. Right? Newspapers oh, no, were no, used no. to cover up the doors, to conceal people's ability to see what's going on inside, to hide information. I mean, a newspaper is an older form of information. It's naturally printed. But in this case, we're trying to take video and photos and see what's going on, but... Essentially, it's a form of censorship. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of loot, boys. What are you gonna do with all that, huh? You guys have warehouses full of this stuff? I mean, it's ridiculous. I heard there was a hundred stores raided today by you cats. You gotta be ashamed of yourselves. That's massive stealing destroying people's lives, ruining businesses. You're putting people out of business, putting people out of jobs while you guys collect fat federal paychecks and sweet benefits, right? And hey, you look like you're in the military, so you're probably thinking now uh, some kind of a military package retirement. Get a little military retirement, a little uh, double dip with the DEA now. Eventually they love it if we come down and confiscate their police car. Take over their station, they love that. Didn't your mom ever teach you not to take things that aren't yours? Hey, Mr. Hero. What's your name? You guys gonna go celebrate with some beers after this? Yeah! Yeah! Get drunk! <laughs> he thinks that's funny. Can't wait to talk about this on the radio tomorrow. It's funny. Funny to destroy people's looking. lives. This is hilarious. Yeah. Oh man, Keenan's just gonna go national now. Awesome. Thank you guys. Bad publicity is better than no publicity at all. Is it a common practice to be sealing search warrants? I mean, information is what's important, not making busts or arresting people or confiscating property, but it seems that today that's what that's all about. If there's some sort of, if there's some sort of threat to the community posed by this business, why don't you share that information with the community? Do you guys feel ironic when you're celebrating with your alcohol later tonight? Would you feel ironic because at one time you would have done the same thing to people who were selling alcohol? Same thing, different era, that's all. It's just prohibition all over again. And you well, guys are perpetrating it. Years, you're perpetrating violence on your neighbors. And it's an embarrassment. You're an embarrassment of humanity. I hope they're being gentle because we're getting all this shit back. That's great for them with all this free stuff they're getting. We've done absolutely nothing wrong. So we'll be getting all this back. What do you do with all this stuff? Is it, you just keep renting warehouses and store it? Might be a little bit more good use of the taxpayer money. Yeah, you are handling. DEA is currently unloading uh, several boxes from the store. Hey, I'm going to have to put a pipe on that.
Yeah, they're just doing that's gonna be. No, I saw my whole after like 48. Ooh, two masked men. You guys telling your kids about what you're doing today? Is it okay to tell your kids to steal things? Somebody doing that? Girl, you're taking away some of these lives. Yeah, you're fucking up somebody else's guy right now. Gang members, that's right. Feel free to use them on each other. Laugh boys. Officer on standby, just in case things may peacefully get out of hand. Mike, that shirt rocks. Thank you. I wish I wish this was a good thing. <laughs> there are federal law enforcement officers that do actually help people and go after people who hurt others. Rather than people peacefully doing business in small towns around America. I should say the United States. Where are you going next? Who's your next target? How many more lives are you going to ruin today or tomorrow or to next week? Oh! You're just going to see this full almost. Yeah. Just doing a job, right? I wonder how many people you guys know that lives you're affecting by doing this. I wonder how many people you're personally affecting that you guys know. Most of them aren't from around here. But you can't it's a lot out. easier to go and destroy people's lives where you don't know anybody, right? These aren't your brothers and sisters, too. It's all right. It's a, I've been here my whole life. It's a small world after all. People can be found with nowadays technology. Shirts, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, and we're littering. And we're littering. Awesome. We don't want you <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for Does littering. Here want these guys here? Anybody no. Here no. Want these people no. In your Not at all. No. Don't want anybody. Why don't you go back to where None you came you from? Are welcome here. Peaceful we people are welcome. We don't yeah. want your arrest. We don't want